hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to premier league predictions week 21 we've passed the halfway mark all clubs have now now's the time to pick up points especially with that relegation dogs right down at the bottom of the table for teams like brighton fulham west brom sheffield united are really feeling the pressure where they are but you know, that one against man united will help them out obviously yet again to a title fight will is happening as well so points need to be picked up over the next few weeks will there be a big gap between the top four we're gonna have to wait and see but anyway a lot of games to kick off with so guys you know what to do give us a big front fun that you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game is one of my live match reactions everton versus Newcastle. Newcastle have really been on the down over the past few weeks everton Probably I'll be on the better side over, you know, the past couple of weeks. I'm going to go, I'm looking forward to covering this game. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton scoreline. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, yeah, again, draw with Chelsea um, under their first week of Chelsea's new manager. Good point for uh, Wolves to pick up there. Crystal Palace, can't quite remember how they got on. I know they did play, I just can't remember how they got on. But it's going to be an interesting game at Selhurst Park. An easy 1-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United beating Man United on the previous weekend. Um, you know, Sheffield United really did turn up, did get a chance to watch all the game. But an upset there, none of the wiser. Another three points Sheffield United need to get. I'm going to go for a Manchester City win. I need to win it to remain or to keep pressure on Liverpool, who I think is top. I'm not too sh quite sure about that one, but um, I'm going to go for a Man City win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Manchester City win. My next one is a big game down the bottom. It's uh, West Bromwich Albion versus Fulham. West Bromwich Albion. You know, got to go pick up the points. Fulham get the point against Brighton the previous weekend. It was one of my uh, live match reactions. And yet again, it'd be Brighton again this weekend. Got up against top. We'll get down to that in a bit. Anyway, go forward to this game. This game's big down the bottom. I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Arsenal versus Manchester United. DT versus Mark Goldbridge, you know, one of the biggest rivalries that's happened in Premier League history. Who could forget that bit of an argument down at Highbury, I think it was, between Roy King, Patrick Fiora, all the United boys. This is the game when you're a kid, born in the 90s, and you're interested in football. This is the game you look forward to and going, I'm really am looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to it again. It's another live match reaction of mine. I hope you join me for this one. But this game really is big. Man United losing to Sheffield United, Old Trafford. Arsenal winning, beating Southampton. So could there be a slight any confidence? I'm going to go yes. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Aston Villa. Southampton losing to Arsenal. Aston Villa, they lost to Burnley 3-2. I think, yeah, it was Villa who lost to Burnley. I remember that because I was covering it before the Brighton game. And, uh, yeah, Filler taking the lead twice and losing it, which ain't really that good on the Filler perspective. So, going forward to this game, Southampton are the more confident. I'm going for a 3-1 Southampton win. My next one is Chelsea versus Burnley. Now, Chelsea and their new manager, first game was a draw. Saki Frank Lampard was that big mistake. You can have your uh, opinions down in the description below. Burnley, on the other hand, beating Filler. Sean Dyche and the Burnley boys looking like slightly turning the corner. I think that makes it two wins out of two for the games overhaul. So, are Burnley going to make it three? I don't think, but I think they will get a point out of this one. So I'll go for a 1-1 one -one scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Leeds United. Leicester are, you know, playing ever so well. Leeds, I think they lost, if I remember rightly. But, you know, 
actually no Leeds beat Newcastle if I remember rightly it's going to be an interesting game at the King Power Stadium I think it's called now um, that stadium has changed names so many times over the past few years I'm getting to lose track of what the ground's called I'm going to go for a Leicester win and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Leicester win my next one who, who would have said this West Ham were in the top four I'm not sure if they still are I think they are actually but going up against a very good Liverpool side I'm going to expect Leicester, uh, West Ham to win this one and I'm going to go for a 2-1 uh, West Ham win. My last one for this weekend it is Brighton and Albion versus Tottenham. Brighton, George Fulham have not won at home in the Premier League since June 2020. Is this the game they're going to turn it around? Tottenham losing to Liverpool literally yesterday. So they ain't got a lot of time to recover. But I do think this game will be quite an interesting one. But I think Tottenham will just about steal it. And I'm going to give Brighton the odd goal. Because oh, I need to score. <laughs> Only one thing we could do against um, Fulham. And if you don't know as well, Fulham, that's who I support. So I'm going to go for a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big crap thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.